What's going on guys? I am True Racer, and in this video we're going to take a look at all the cameras I use at the karting track as well as some of the gadgets uh, that help make my life easier and create a better viewing experience for you guys. So let's start things off with the cameras. The first one here is the big one and uh, our most expensive one actually. This is the Nikon uh, D3200. And to be honest, this is the one we probably use the least. Uh, sometimes the uh, wife will take it out to get some really nice crisp shots, but other than that, it's kind of big and bulky. We kind of like the more, more versatile cameras, so that's why uh, we use some of the other ones because they're just a lot easier to work with. But it's still a great camera nevertheless, and I use this one for, or I'm going to start using this one more for my other tutorials and stuff like that. Secondly is just our regular uh, generic kind of handheld camera. This is the one we use for kind of like our vlogs and stuff like that. We just, you know, hold it up and go blah, blah, blah. This one, this one's actually been really good for us. The quality's really good on it and the audio works really good and the autofocus works really good. This is the Canon PowerShot 350 HS or something like that. Um, works really good. We are very happy with it. Uh, it's definitely not going on the cart. It's just definitely the one the wife has been using a lot recently when she is uh, watching me at the track or doing her own little vlog or I'm doing it, using it for something like that. Uh, secondly, this is uh, this is our second GoPro. This is just like basically the most generic GoPro you can buy. And this is the one I actually use for my face cam. I put it on the cart and I have it uh, just facing me with uh, it's just right there in my face. It doesn't need to be the best of quality, so I didn't go out and buy a new GoPro Hero 4. This was, I think, $120 for like the really cheap generic GoPro. Uh, it does its job. It, it works for just the face cam, and that's basically all I use it for. Uh, next, um, these two little guys here, these are like... A little hidden secret of mine, not really, but these are the the Polaroid cubes, right? These are only ninety nine dollars. Uh, you can get them anywhere, I guess, just on Amazon. I'll I'll put links to everything in the description if you guys want to check check them out or or get more information from them. But these little Polaroid cubes, I use these for the rear mounted cameras, or they're actually really just really versatile cameras you can use anywhere. Um, also, they have a magnet on the bottom of them. I don't really have anything that's metal over here, but just believe me, there's a, a magnet here. Uh, they're really nice, small. You can put them in discrete little little spots, and this is the one I actually use for my rear-mounted camera for my cart. I put it behind my seat, in between the seat and the hose, uh, and it works really well. Uh, and I can just, it, I literally just hook it up with zip ties, and it does its job perfectly. Now, moving on to my gadgets and some of the things that are going to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, these are the GoPro cases. I have the one skeleton case here. It's got the opening and stuff like that. This is good because uh, you can put in you can put in your uh, external microphone and the audio is a lot better in this if you don't have an external microphone. But you do not want to use a skeleton. Uh, case when you're actually driving a cart or having it outside because the wind noise will be atrocious in this. Um, and everything else I've learned with putting a mic on it, GoPro does not have a very good attachment for the microphone pieces and it usually uh, jiggles out of there and it'll fall out and it'll actually make your audio even worse. So for using a GoPro, especially for a cart, I would recommend using the, the full case on it. Uh, this will really kind of dull out a lot of the wind noise and it is actually what I use for all my cart videos now for the main front one because that's the one I use for my audio as well. Um, yeah, this is the front facing one and it works really well. Now some of, the, some of the other gadgets is definitely make sure to always have extra chargers because I have I have three batteries for my GoPro because this thing the GoPro just burns through batteries I have three batteries for it and I'm usually constantly charging two more at the track because I never want to run out of batteries uh, make sure to bring the charger for the other one this is the, the Canon one I think this one was actually I think it was like a little over 200 this camera was 
Uh, another thing, I guess you can call this the selfie stick, but this is actually GoPro's uh, selfie stick, and it is really good. I really like this one, uh, mostly because it has the tripod here. You can kind of just tripod it up and do some cool things that way. Uh, or it can just be a regular handheld. You can twist this off and put it in. It's just a regular handheld, or it even, it even booms out for you to make it for official selfie stick action. Um, lastly, for the gadgets, I do got to go with, with my laptop slash computer, um, the Surface Pro 3. It works pretty good. I bring this out to the track with me most of the times, either to re uh, review footage or review data from the car, because I can just take the data from my shifter car and somebody else or just mine and review the data really easy, easily with this. I've had this for almost two years, almost just since it came out. And it's been it's been bulletproof for me. I take it to the track and to work and everywhere everywhere I go, it's actually it's actually really good and I, I enjoy it. Uh, lastly is the camera we're using right now to video this. That is the GoPro Hero 4 with a microphone attachment. Let me show you what it looks like. As you guys can see here, this is the GoPro Hero 4 on top of the wife's pink snap-on toolbox because it's my proper mount since I had to show off my actual uh, tripod mount. I used uh, alternative methods with my custom-built kind of microphone attachment. Let me kind of give you guys a show of what exactly this is, okay? Here is the GoPro Hero 4 that I use. I use a regular, the regular GoPro mount for the microphone, and then I use the small microphone uh, ed made by Edge, or E-D-U-T-I-G-E. -E. It's like about a $60 microphone, but it works really well. It's kind of like a directional microphone I use for these kind of purposes right here. Um, like I said earlier though, I don't really like the actual microphone attachment for the GoPro because you kind of plug it in, but it in a non-stable environment, it kind of usually just vibrates out and becomes worse than the original audio quality. But that's the, the my last camera and the one I use mostly for the front for the front of the shifter car, and basically it is my go-to camera. Lastly, I kind of want to do a quality comparison for all the cameras. This is the GoPro Hero 4 with the microphone attachment. This is it without the microphone attachment. The GoPro Hero 4 is the one we mostly use for the front of the car and any of the other action camera shots uh, we do. This is the Canon PowerShot camera for you guys. The one we mostly use for our vlogs and kind of when it's easy to keep around the pockets for quick shooting. This one here is the generic GoPro and is typically the one I put as a base cam on the car. Lastly, this is the Polaroid Cube and is typically the one we put on the rear of the camera but it's also very versatile and I can sneak it in other different spots as well. So that's going to wrap it up for this camera and gadgets video. If you guys have any questions about any of these cameras or any, any of these, some of these little gadgets over here, please feel free to leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe because in a future video, we're going to take a look at my cart and how I mount all of these cameras onto my cart and some of the other little uh, tricks and tips for doing that as well. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, stay true and race on.